are you going to keep your video off or would you like to turn it on just so I know who's doing what? Uh, hi, hi. Julie, you're going to stay on? You want to do the class? I want to stay on to assist you in any IT issues in oh. case. All right. No, I think I'll be fine. But if you want to do the class, you're welcome. Certainly. Okay. Thank you, Nancy. I mean, thank you, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Addo? Are you going to stay um, with your video off? You want to put it on? Maybe you're not there at the moment. Uh, it's, yeah. it's actually yeah. It's, it's actually Dante. <laughs> I, 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 I have I have a uh, different uh, um, iPad I'm using now, okay. uh, and I, I I might have to uh, run away. I, I answered the helpline. Ah, so, okay, um, right. And I did I'm that doing for a little. A while. <laughs> <laughs> right. I actually did the helpline for a little while. Green job. So great. Hi, well, hi everybody. So we're gonna start some relaxation time. Um, I just wanna ask if any of you have ever not had stress in your life? <laughs> okay. I think stress is, is just part of um, our existence. So uh, we don't have a lot of time together today. So what I'm going to really try to focus on is tools that you can use to de-stress yourself. That's what stress management really is. It's using the tools that, that are available without having to go to a, a masseuse uh, to try to really self-relax, okay? So um, the first thing we're gonna do, Felicia, are you there, my dear? Maybe she's busy working, I don't know. Oh, there you are, hi, great. So we're gonna, we're gonna start the class. So the first, thing, the first thing to do is find yourself seated in a comfortable position with your feet flat on the floor, shoulders relaxed and down, top of the head reaching up, feeling your feet really attached to the earth and stick out your tongue ah, and bring it to the inside of your teeth. Mm. And again, ah, mm, ah, mm, ah, mm. And then wiggle your mouth in all directions. Great. And come back to stillness. We hold a lot of tension in our mouth. We don't even know it. So that's a good practice to do right there. Start to allow your head to just gently roll in one direction. And use your breath as you do this. So you're inhaling up and exhaling down. Breath is one of the best de-stressors you naturally have. I'm in one direction and in the opposite direction. Rolling around. And also being aware of your body is a great de-stressor. Come back to center. Let your left hand reach over for your right ear and bring your right ear down towards your left shoulder. And you're stretching this section of your shoulder and come back to center. Release that arm, go to the opposite one. Take your right arm over your ear and release it down. Great, and back to center. Bring your shoulders to your ears and just hold and breathe, shrugging them up. And then allow them melt down your back, just rolling around. One way and the opposite way. Great, and now shake it out. Let go of your arms. Let them just move around. And then if you make sure you have space, you can swing them back and forth. Don't knock anything over or hurt yourself. As a way of kind of releasing any tension, make it a nice loose movement, but controlled, okay? so you're not flopping around. 
Great. And then bring your arms up and just stretch up. Let the fingertips really reach for the ceiling. Yes, great. Deep breath in, filling your lungs and exhaling. Clasp your hands together, reverse the clasp. Good, and reaching up, extending the length of your body on both sides as you're pressing down with your feet and into the floor with your buttocks. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Nice, can you smile? Smiling is one of the best de-stressors and it's free. Great, bring your arms in front of you, press against the wall in front of you and tuck your belly button into your back spine. You're doing a little cat stretch here. And then come back up, reaching, reaching, breathing, and back to that cat stretch. So you're really pushing the wall in front of you. Great. And release your arms, let them hang for another minute. And then let your arms come up once more. Bring the hands together except for the index finger. And again, extending that stretch. And hopefully you'll feel the more you do this, the more you'll be able to push up and down, opening your heart space. Great, and release again. Good, clasp your elbows, bring your hands over your head. And hold, nice, there you go. But nobody's smiling. Got to smile. Great, and then reverse the clasp. So you've got the opposite arms held together. Beautiful. And bringing your arms up and just releasing out. And shake it around, roll it around. One way, the other way. Deep breath in and out. <sighs> and do a body scan, close your eyes. Check out your whole body. What's happening in there? What do you feel? How do you feel now, 10 minutes after we started this? And isn't that a feeling you want to hold on to all the time? Okay, not hard to do. Okay, so we do a few lower body things and then some little breathing and a deep relaxation. So bring your left foot over your right knee a little further up. Bring your left hand on your left knee, right hand on your left ankle. Take a breath in and look straight ahead. Don't round your spine, just look straight ahead so that you are bending forward and you'll feel your hip. Yes, good. Looking straight ahead, bending over. See if you can bring your upper body close to your thighs. Nice, there you go, Felicia, beautiful. But breathe, don't hold your breath. Great, and pressing down with the opposite foot, start to come up. We do something called rock the baby, which is a hip opener. So look at your left hand, swing it underneath your left knee. Pick up your left foot with your right hand and then rock your baby back and forth, keeping your shoulders still. So it's just your hip that's opening. Some people like to sing a lullaby to their babies. But... Great. And release. Now massage your foot. Self-massage, one of the gifts that we have for ourselves. We just forget to do it all the time. Right? Massaging your feet stimulates all the nerve endings. They reflux up. Reflexologists say there are 10,000 nerve endings in your feet. No, oh, that's, that's a lot. That's your whole body. So you can build up some heat to your feet. You can massage any way you like. I forgot to tell you to take your shoes off. Great. And release this foot and let's go to the other side. So look down, if you have your shoes off, you'll be able to see a difference in the tone of your feet. So let's go to the other side, bring up your right knee, shake it out a little bit, cross it over your left knee. Again, reaching so that your head is reaching up. 
reach forward with your chin so that you can allow your upper body just to rest on top of your thigh and you'll feel your right hip and listen to what it's saying. It might say, I don't like this, get me out of it. And then go ahead and do that. It might say, I'm okay, maybe I'll try a little bit further forward. The very good hip opener. Great, and press down with your foot, come on up. And we'll rock the baby on this side. So look at your right hand and slip it underneath your right knee. Lift up your right foot with your left hand. See how high you want to go. And then rock your baby. Great. Pressing down with your left foot as you do this. And then release and do a nice massage on that foot. And I recommend massaging whenever you have a chance and you're sitting still. Maybe you're watching something on your boob tube or whatever you're doing, massage your feet. Nothing to lose, everything to gain. Use your thumbs, you can use your knuckles, you can tap them out, any way to stimulate your feet. Great, and then release that foot. And take a minute, close your eyes and see how your whole body feels right now. Anything special you want to move? We're not going to do any standings. We really don't have time for that today. But usually we would do some standing postures. You just roll your neck a little bit, swing around one way, the other way. And how about your body? Tap everything out. Tap everything you can reach. Stimulating your cells, down your feet inside of your arms, chest, shoulders, back of your neck, top of your head. Just tap, 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 tap. Start to feel the little tingling that you get when you do this kind of movement. We'll do one leg movement that we didn't do. Time for it. So bring your knees together. Lift up your feet and hold. So you're going to concentrate on the core muscle, the center of your body, and you're pressing forward with your feet. Good. Now try raising your arms and then separating your legs. So you're in a star position and just holding here. Good, bring it together, hands together, feet together, and come out again. Nice, once more, coming together, holding, and then releasing out. Great, and drop everything, swing your arms, tap your feet, move it around, and take a deep breath in and out. <sighs> So we're going to do a face massage. And the idea of a face massage is to really release your face and any tension that's in there, right? And this again, it's a freebie. Using your own hands, you can do it whenever you want. So rub your hands together, build up a lot of nice heat. Great. And then bring your hands over your eyes. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me, and let that warmth release the back of your eyes. And then continue for the next few minutes to massage your face, <clears throat> your head and your neck, your shoulders, any way that works for you. You may have a particular style of face massage you like different kinds of physical activity. The Qigong folks have a specific face massage to release energy and relaxation. So if you have a specific way of doing it, go for it. I like to put a lot of pressure on my head. 
seems to be very soothing for me. Doesn't sound like it would be. Might want to pull your forehead as away a little. Yeah, Felicia, you've got something nice going there. <clears throat> Always be gentle around your eyes. And get to your shoulders at a certain point. <clears throat> and you can pull out your fingers to really stretch them out. Both hands and wiggle your fingers. Then we're going to do something that is a release. And then we're going to get into a deep relaxation. So we call it the lion's pose. And what it means is. It's a way of letting out of your body whatever you're holding that is not beneficial to you. So we start by releasing anything on your arms that you don't want to hold, any negativity, anything that is not useful to you, anything that you feel really disturbs you. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go back into Mother Earth, who will take it and turn it back into compost and then into your garden. So just let it go. Again, you can do this anytime, any place. Just swing it off your arms. Great, now the second part you may not be able to do anytime, any place, but bring your hands into lion's claws. Take a deep breath in, but first think about what you want to howl at. As long as it's not yourself, let it rip. Again, louder. Ah! Great. And I like to recommend if you are living with someone or have nosy neighbors, go into your bathroom and just go, ah! It's a great release. Okay. Shake it out a little bit. Go around a little bit. Great. And we'll go to do a little bit of breathing. <clears throat> There are many, many techniques in yoga for uh, deep relaxation and deep breathing. Okay, so what we're going to do is just a three part breath. So bring your hand on your belly and think of your lungs as balloons. So what you want to do is fill the balloon from the bottom, right? If you're blowing up a balloon, and then the air goes into the middle and then to the top of the balloon. And then when you release it, it releases from the top, the middle, and then the bottom. Oh, think of it. Think about your, your lungs in that way, okay? So bringing your hand on your belly so you can feel the fullness. Take a deep breath in. And release. Ah. Again, full deep breath. But in the belly first, releasing your belly, and then releasing it and letting the belly button come to the back spine. <clears throat> One more time. Filling the bottom and releasing. And come to the middle of your chest and let your air flow from the middle back out through the bottom. And again. And release. Bring your hands to the top of your collarbones. Feel the fullness of that balloon starting from the bottom, holding at the top, and then releasing. Ha! Ah. This next time, release as slowly as you can. Ha! Ah. One more time. Ah, great. And bring your hands 
to gently fold onto your thighs. And close your eyes. And imagine yourself stepping into a cloud. And the cloud is your size, your shape, whatever you would like it to be. But it's your safe space. Nobody can come into your cloud. It's all yours. And you can stand in the cloud. You can sit in your cloud. You can lie down. You can do anything you like. And then feel like you can release your toes and let go of the underside of your feet. Relax your calf muscles. Let go of your thigh muscle on the right side and on the left side. Let go of your right hip. Let go of your left hip. Release your belly. Let go of your rib cage. Stop holding your right shoulder, right upper arm, right lower arm, right thumb, pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky. Let go of your left shoulder, left upper arm, left lower arm, left thumb, pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky. Let go of your throat. Release your chin, your teeth, your mouth, your nose. Relax your cheeks, your eyes, the muscles behind your eyes. Let go of your eyebrows, forehead, the top of your head, the back of your head, every strand of hair in your head. Let go of the back of your neck and trace every vertebra down your spine as you release everyone from the whole thing. And come down to your buttocks. Just rest in your safe space, in your cloud. And you can follow your breath by feeling the coolness of the inhale and the warmth as you exhale. Continuing to inhale and exhale. See if you can feel on the exhale, the warmth on your upper lip. A little challenging, but if you concentrate, you might feel it. Feel your whole body relaxed. And as your monkey mind starts to want to interfere, you can say, I'll talk to you later, I'm busy now. Or you can let the thought just fade away. And breathe and exhale. Inhaling the coolness, exhaling the warmth. And feel with every exhale that you're releasing one more whole thing one moment of negativity 
at a time. Inhaling the coolness, exhaling the warmth. Focusing on releasing and relaxing. Inhaling and exhaling. Letting go of every part of your body. Anything that's clenching up again, just let go. Inhaling and exhaling. Now wiggling your toes and your fingers. Coming back into your room. I will sing the sound of Om if any of you care to join me. That would be lovely. And bring your hands to face up and thumb and forefinger together. The sound is A U Om. Two breath in. A O. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. May there be peace in your mind, peace in your heart, peace in our universe. Namaste, everybody. I honor the light within you. That's what namaste means. I honor the light within you. So you just have to believe that light is there. And then release to let it come out. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming.